Picking a pair of trucks is really important. It's what holds your wheels and your deck together, making you and your skateboard a happy little family. These are my top three things you should know about getting skateboard trucks. There are a lot of variations of trucks that you can get. In my experience, the most important thing is picking a height and sticking to it. Let's be honest here, unless you really care about what your trucks look like, you're not gonna be changing them anytime soon because trucks typically last a pretty long time. Since you're skating your trucks for a long time, you get really used to the angle that the height of that truck is giving you to pop your tricks. For instance, I skated a pair of mid silvers, which is a lower truck, for a really long time. After years of only skating silvers, I decided to switch to some independent trucks that were a high. I skated that pair of independent trucks for three months and could not get used to it. I was doing rocket flips with everything. That really slight difference in height makes all the difference in the world when you're skating. If you want to pop higher, then I would suggest getting used to a higher truck because the higher the truck, the higher the pop, according to physics and science. Basically, pick a height for your trucks and stick to it because if you get new trucks and they're a different height than what you're used to, you will struggle to be able to do your tricks. For something that's a little bit more obvious, but also it might not be, is picking the width of your truck. What makes this obvious is that you just go off the width of your board. So if you have an eight board, then you get some trucks that are also the same width as eight inches. But don't worry if you're a half inch under because I typically skate an 825, so my trucks are size 825. But my girl board is a size eight. So there's like a little bit of extra room there, but it really doesn't matter. But I would try to match your board to your trucks if you can. Another thing that you need to look out for is that your trucks might start to bend. Does bending your trucks mean that you should throw them away? Actually, no, you could keep skating them and you'd be fine. But it does mean that you are very prone to getting wheel bite. And we all know wheel bite sucks. Wheel bite is where you land a trick, but your wheel gets stuck to your board, throwing you off your board. And when your truck is bent, it's only making your wheel get closer to the board, making it so that it's really easy for you to get wheel bite. These are my top three things that you should know about getting skateboard trucks and if you have any thoughts or suggestions for other people then leave it in the comments down below and let me know what shoes you want me to review next, let me know what boards you want me to review next, let me know what trick tips you want me to do because this channel is for you as much as it is for me. And remember, you do not need a sponsor to get good at shit. Get good at shit because you know you can. And that's it. Give that love button the little subscribe. You know what I meant. <laughs> Oh, by the way, little announcement, uh, I am back to going to work full time, so I'm not going to be able to, uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to still put out videos every Monday and Friday because uh, I'm going to be taking all the money that I make at my job and putting it into my YouTube channel. So if you see ads popping up on YouTube of me, that's just me trying to build this audience so we can all be a group of people that all encourage each other to keep skating, have fun, don't need a sponsor to get good stuff, get good because you know you can. And that's pretty much it. And uh, just just go, just go. Whatever you're doing, just go. Hey, you thinking about doing something? Hey, don't think, just go. Unless it's bad, don't do a bad thing. But if it's a good thing to do, Go do it. But if it's like a bad thing, like you're thinking about like slapping someone, don't do that. That's bad. That's mean. Don't slap them. Don't worry. They'll get slapped somehow. Maybe not by you, but someone's gonna slap them. All right. So, uh, yeah. Love you guys. Later. Christian, tell them about the cool sticker app in the world. Are you telling me that you're one of the thousands of people who downloaded the sticker app but have not hit subscribe yet? Well, why not? Christian, there's just not enough stickers yet for me to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for you that there's an endless supply of animations added to the app just for you subscribers. So download my sticker app in the description down below and hit that subscribe button for the endless amount of updates.